You guys think there's an afterlife? Uh, personally, I think there is an afterlife. And what about you? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Are you going to heaven when you die? You a good person? Uh, I'm a good person. I think I'll go to heaven. Yeah. yeah. I believe so. You think you're all good people? Now, how do you know what good is? What's good? How would you describe a good person? What about the Ten Commandments? Is that a good guide? Uh, I, I never read them, to be honest. You've never read the Ten Commandments. Any of you guys know the Ten Commandments? I do not. What about you? I sort of. How many commandments can you name? Do you know any of the commandments? Uh -uh. None at all? You shall not kill? Have you ever heard that? I heard that before. You shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not lie. Oh yeah. That's the Ten Commandments. Okay. All right, all right. So, how many lies have you told in your life? A lot. What about you? You just told one right now. Okay, what do you call someone who tells lies? It's a liar. Have you ever stolen something? Uh, no. Excuse me? <laughs> and you, have you guys stolen? I always steal. <laughs> yes. Okay. So you're all lying thieves, is that right? Um, yeah, pretty okay. much. Okay, have you ever used God's name in vain? Yeah, I have. You all have? Do you know what you do when you do that? God gave you life and you use his name as a cuss word. It's very serious. It's called blasphemy. In the Old Testament, if you did that, you died. It was so serious. They'd put you to death. Now, Jesus said, if you look at a woman and lust for her, you commit adultery with her in your heart. You ever looked at a woman with lust? Um, yeah. Bro. And what about you? If you look with lust? Okay, so I'm not judging you guys, but you've just told me you're lying thieves, are blasphemers, and adulterers at heart. You have to face God on Judgment Day. If He judges you by those commandments, you're going to be innocent or guilty. Guilty. And what about you? <laughs> guilty. Will you go to heaven or hell? Oh, hell, pretty much. So does it concern you that if you died today, you'd end up in hell? I'm not sure. Not sure. What about you? So I wouldn't because I don't believe in hell. Okay. So hell goes away when you don't believe in it? I just don't believe in it. <laughs> and what about you? Does it concern you that if you died today you'd end up in hell? No, really. Doesn't concern you? And what about you? I'm not sure. Not sure. And you kids may not be concerned, but I am deeply concerned. Do you know how many people... Do? What's that? Don't he forgive our sins though? Only if you repent and trust the Savior. He just doesn't forgive you just because you say you're sorry. You say sorry to a judge, you're not going to walk out of the courtroom. Judge, I, I robbed that bank, sorry. He's not going to let you go. What's that? You can bring God to a judge though. God is the ultimate judge. The Bible says he will judge the world in righteousness. And he's seen your thought life. He made your brain. Your thoughts aren't hidden from God. He's not blind. He can see. The eye of the Lord is in every place, beholding the evil and the good. And when you do things that are wrong, you store up his wrath, his anger. Think I'm trying to scare you? Absolutely. This is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living God. And I'm telling you this because I care about you guys. You know how many people die every day? Oh, 150,000 people die every day. That's a lot. Every minute, 100 people die. People just like you and me. 54 million people die every year. So you don't know when you're going to go, and this is deadly serious. If you go ahead 10 years and look back, you say, oh, so-and-so died. The four of us sitting on the bench, so-and-so died. You just don't know when people are going to go. And so this is more serious than a heart attack. Do you know what God did for guilty sinners so he wouldn't have to go to hell? Any idea? Uh, no, I really don't have an idea. Do you know what God did for guilty sinners? Well, I'm, I'm assuming he killed himself, didn't he? Is that, is that the question? Is that the answer? Getting warm. Do you know what God did? Okay, 2000, you know this, 2,000 years ago, God became a human being, Jesus of Nazareth, who suffered and died on the cross to take the punishment for the sin of the world. Now, you probably know that, but you may, you may not know this. When that happened, a legal transaction took place. You and I broke God's law, the Ten Commandments, they're called the moral law, and Jesus paid the fine. If you're in court and someone pays your fine, the judge can let you go. Even though you're guilty, you can say, someone's paid this fine, he's out of here. Well, God can let you go. He can let you live forever because Jesus paid the fine on the cross. God commended his love toward us, and the while we yet sinners, Christ died for us. On the cross, he cried out, it is finished. In other words, the debt has been paid. Guys, God can let you live forever. You can keep this life. You don't have to perish. You don't have to end up in hell. 
because of the suffering, death, and resurrection of the Savior. What you've got to do is not just believe in Jesus. You've got to repent of your sins, turn from them, and trust in Jesus like you trust a parachute. Now, does this make sense? Um, yeah, it does, actually. Does it make sense to you? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Can you see that I'm talking to you real seriously and I'm earnest and sincere? I've got no ulterior motive. I just love you guys and I don't want you to end up in hell. That's my only motive. Do you have a Bible? Um, yeah, I do have a Bible. You guys have Bible? you last read it it's been a while but i just keep the bible just for you know you know you're young and you're tempted like no other generation you can find hardcore pornography on the internet in seconds and do things that you know you shouldn't do and what you need to do is surrender your life to christ while you're young and ask him to give you a, a heart that loves up loves righteousness and loves doing that which is right and he'll do that it'll make you brand new on the inside so you don't love that which is wrong and end up in hell I believe everybody should go to heaven. So you think everyone should be let out of jail as well? Yeah. Well, not let out of jail, but they should go to heaven. No, they should be let out of jail because you don't believe in punishment. You should abolish the court systems and say a man can rape and murder a woman and he shouldn't be punished. Does that make sense? <laughs> I get you. I understand. It, it don't make sense. I just don't believe in a hell or not. I, He gets it. You don't. I try my best with you. So whether you believe in a hell or not, you'll end up there, and I don't want that to happen. It, okay, guys, thank you for, for listening to me. I really appreciate it. Thank you, man.